Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making this wood sign using Dollar Tree products. To start this project, you're just gonna to wanna to get some panels of wood. You can buy these panels of wood for just a little bit over a dollar at the hardware store. If you don't have a hardware store near you, of course, you can use some Dollar Tree products, some signs or something like that. I know they've got in some real wood lately, so finding some of those would be awesome. I haven't found any of those at my store, but you could definitely use those as well. I just start off by taking some of the white paint that I got from the Dollar Tree and this foam brush also came from the Dollar Tree and I'm just kind of whitewashing my wood. I picked up this really pretty bag from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and cut out the image that I wanted and I just cut it out to the size of the wood that I have. I'm also here kind of looking to see if I want to add this buffalo check that also came off of the bag and you'll see me add that in later. So I'm just going to start by applying a lot of Mod Podge to the back of my paper there and then I'm going to start Mod Podging it to the wood. I would be lying to you guys if I said that this was an easy process. This actually took me a very, very long time to get it to stick. I don't know if the issue was the wood I was using. I don't know. I think what it ended up being was the laminate that the bag is made out of is not very Mod Podge friendly at all. Like it, it's water resistant. So I was having a really hard time getting the bag to stick to the wood. I do get it eventually, but it was definitely a pain. So if you're going to do this method that I'm doing here, just be persistent. <laughs> That's the word I kept thinking of is like being persistent. I was very persistent for a very, very long time, like probably a good 15 to 30 minutes, honestly. And I do finally get it to stick, but it took a very, very long time. A tip I would have for this is don't go light on the Mod Podge. Use a ton of it. Like I probably could have used this entire container of the Mod Podge and also apply a lot of pressure. So those are my advices. Use a lot of Mod Podge and pressure. On the highway, it's our way. We're 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. At this point, I was starting to get kind of desperate, so I mixed some water and some Mod Podge together and I rubbed it all over my hands and was just really trying to rub down the paper. I don't know if this did anything, honestly, but I tried because I just could not get it to stick, but again, I do get it eventually.
after everything dried, I went ahead and decided that I was going to add on some of this nautical rope that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I also picked up some twine from the Dollar Tree. I just start gluing it to the edges just to kind of hide any imperfections that was left behind from me putting the bag onto the paper. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. Teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine Again I'm Taking all the advice there is And none of it has helped Experience has made me realize That I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive It only hurts I'm so tired All right, you guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And don't forget, if you do try this project, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.